So here we are, March 8th. Got a bunch of snow on the ground. Still very cold, but I'd like to do a little video here to kick the season off. Just a brief tour of the Farmington River in a few spots. The church pool and the bridge. There's a guy out there fishing. It's cold for me. Looks like he caught one too. Any luck? Too cold for me out here. So anyway, I start off the season with my friend Jeff, aka Claude, doing a tying video on a black caddis. They say that the black caddis comes out on nice days all winter long. I've never seen it myself, but anyway. Joe Z, Trout Fishing Diaries. Twenty nineteen opener. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel, whatever the case may be. Today we're tying a bighorn black haddis and we call it that because of the great hatches that are out on the Bighorn River that we see in the summer. We're going to start with a Daiichi 1110 hook in a size 16. We've tied this fly down to a size 20 for here on the Farmington River. We're going to use 3-0 uni thread to build the egg sac. And take, uh, we start the thread at the midpoint in the hook and then work our way back to the bend and then from there we build up a, a nice egg sac. Uh, in a, this is in a chartreuse color. Easy to see. And once we get that done we're going to bring the thread back to the halfway point and we'll take a bobbin that has black thread. Uh, we're, in this case we're using a 6-0 and we'll secure that chartreuse thread with it and, event, and we'll trim off the uh, tag of the black thread and then trim off the chartreuse so that we can build up a nice underbody with the black thread. At that point we're going to use uh, some super fine dubbing to create the body, but you can use anything you want. It's uh, The nice thing about this fly is you can tie it in so many different ways, there's no right way to do it. There's no textbook way that you have to do things. Uh, but here we're going to use super fine dubbing in the, uh, the opening shot of the video. The fly has olive brown dubbing, and in, just in, in this case uh, I used uh, black superfine. It really doesn't matter. 
all the flies that I've tied in the size 20 for the Farmington here in Connecticut have been using black thread. Once we get a nice tapered body, we'll come down toward the eye of the hook, winding that thread, winding that body down. We want to make sure that we cover the hook with thread down to the eye so that that will prevent any materials from slipping around. And that will lead us up to tying in our our post, our indicator post, which is made from orange poly yarn. Uh, you could use anything you want. You can use any color you want, of course. Any of the fluorescent colors are great. Uh, there's the fluorescent pinks and chartreuse and yellow and orange. I like the poly yarn because it enables you to stand up the post and tie laterally around the base of it to stand it up. But once again, you can use anything you want. It'll take some turns of thread in front of it and then wrap around the base of it to stand it up. We'll secure that. And at this point, I'm going to tie in the wing. And for the wing, I'm using a material called High Viz in black. But you can use anything you want. You could use EP fibers, you could use Zelon from Blue Ribbon Flies out in Montana and tie it the way you would tie an iris caddis. You can, like I said, there's no one right way to do this. It, that's the nice thing about it. The, uh, the reason we like this fly so much is because of the indicator post that allows you to see it. And especially uh, if you're in a fairly uh, good hatch where there's a lot of insects, you'll be able to differentiate your fly from, uh, from the others. After we trim off the uh, the high vis or wing material, whatever you choose, we'll come to the front, take a few more wraps of thread, and we're going to finish the fly with some more super fine dubbing to complete it. If you wanted to use uh, if you wanted to use some antron dubbing here for a little sparkle in the front of the fly, that's fine. Whatever is easier for you or whatever is good for you. That's Once again, the nice thing about this fly is you're tying it to your specifications. It's whatever you want and however uh, much material you can put in there and, and, uh, and just make it enjoyable, just make it fun to tie. We'll whip finish and then we'll, uh, we'll trim the uh, thread, cut the thread and then trim the indicator post to size. I hope this has uh, been a helpful video for you. I hope it's a pattern that you uh, will learn to tie and like. And uh, thanks so much for watching. The Bighorn Black Caddis.